going on everybody? I am New Breed from Vital Signs. You may have seen me at your higher tour. You might have seen me performing in your schools. Um, a little bit about me. So when I was 17, my life had spiraled out of control. I was caught up in a lot of mess. I've been smoking so much weed, sniffing so much coke, involved in crack cocaine, and so I was selling drugs. And I, I owed out a lot of money and I had a lot of problems with people that wanted to be dead. And I remember thinking my life was worth nothing. Um, as a young kid, I believed in God and I even used to say prayers to God as a kid, but this time I was so desperate and I can remember praying to God to save me from this situation that nobody could help me from and I felt like I heard nothing back and I became suicidal. I tried to kill myself three times. Um, on the fourth attempt, a, a miracle happened and intervened physically in my situation and it changed something in my life which didn't make any possible sense. It was it was it was crazy it made no logical sense and i was convinced it was through the power of praying when that happened my mind started to change and because i've been saved i, I shouldn't even be here today if it wasn't for, for for god and it started getting me thinking about god a lot more i started to believe maybe i had a purpose in life and god did love me I started to go to church started to hang around with christians and then I fell away from it all and started selling drugs again and I got back into a crazy lifestyle. But no matter what I did, I wasn't really truly happy. I can remember being in a place where I was invited to go to this church and my addictions at the time of my life were, were consuming me. But I remember waking up in the morning, I was about to smoke my, my first split of the day and I heard a voice urging me to go to church and I couldn't shake the feeling, it was crazy. So I didn't smoke that day. I put it down, which was really hard for me to do. I went to the church and I started listening to a preacher talking about Jesus. And he said Jesus was coming back to the earth and the Jesus son of God, he died for his sins and all the stuff I kind of heard before. And I started to listen to this preacher and out of nowhere, he was calling out people's situations and he said, somebody in this room, you don't know God, you're not a Christian and you don't belong to the devil and you need to come forward so I can pray for you. And even, even if I thought that might have been me, I was too embarrassed. I didn't want to, you know, go forward and let someone pray for me in church, but I was not happy in my life and I knew I was incomplete in what I was doing. Wasn't fulfilling the purpose I believe maybe I had in life and I prayed to God inside and I said, Jesus, I don't believe anyone else can actually save me but you. And I believe that you're the true living God. And if this man is talking about me, then, then let him look in my eyes and I'll come forward. And for the first time ever, I, I decided to surrender everything over to God, even if that meant I would change and become not popular with my friends or whatever. I said, just let this man look in my eyes, God. And I prayed in my head. And then maybe a minute or two after I prayed that prayer, the man stopped and he went, Nick, who's called Nick in this room? I'd never met him before in my life. And it freaked me out because I thought, what's going on? And I heard this same voice that had been urging me to go to church and speaking to me that day say, son, you just asked for this. And I went forward and I let this man pray for me. And that day I became a Christian and I put my faith in Jesus. And it changed my life forever. And what I used to think was a lie, became the biggest truth ever. And I realized that I'd been believing lies most of my life. I started to learn about God and go to church. And my life hasn't been the same since that. That was years ago. I'm a new breed for Vital Signs and that was a little bit of my story.